Ah. What is up, guys? Good to be back. Happy to be back with another learning year again. Almost, we can almost call this season two of it. But yeah, uh, if you don't know why I stopped making YouTube uh, videos, you can check out my last video. I'll be listed it yesterday. It was just a big, a quick update on the situation and why I stopped. There's not much to it. It wasn't really. It's not. If, if it doesn't interest you, it's not worth looking at. <laughs> funny enough, but yeah. We are back now and we're going to talk about, we, I thought we we're going to ease up into it, like get back into the rhythm of things. So we're going to start with talking about the stand like kick midi. A midi I didn't really use a lot at the start, uh, mostly because I didn't, I saw the use case, I just didn't really understand all its uses. It takes me a bit of time to implement tech. tech. Uh, but now, as the season is coming to an end, I started understanding how to use it. The tech got discovered at the start of season 3.5, I think by a guy called Rushdown V2. You might have heard of him. If he didn't do it, he's getting the credit. Sorry if someone else wants to take it. My bad. I think he was the first one I saw post something about it. But anyway, that's the tech we're gonna talk about today, stand like kick midi. And of course we're gonna do it in the classic order. I started with, uh, I ended it with last time. So we're gonna start with talking about what it is, then we're gonna sh then I'm gonna show a bit of like use cases and uh, where when it's good to use and then we're gonna end with showing some funny stuff with it. So yeah, this is probably gonna be a shorter video because there's not too much to this tick, but it's still good tick. So for people who don't know what this is, what this tick is, it's a midi like the stand medium punch midi. If you guys remember my very first learning Urian, we talked about the stand medium punch and how that is a really good midi. Now we also have the stand light kick. Uh, it's a faster button, uh, five frame startup, I think, instead of the uh, seven frames of the stand medium punch, so faster, plus three on block, plus four on hit, if I remember right. Um, yeah, faster button, which gives us some other use cases. Now, what makes this uh, interesting, this media interesting, is you don't end it with a knockdown. You can end it with a knockdown, but most of the time you won't if you don't have the meter or don't really want to use your meter. So the combo goes like this with this midi. You do stand medium punch, crouch medium punch, stand medium punch, light kick shoulder. That is kind of awkward to do when you're starting out playing. Like it, I admit it is kind of awkward to go from stand to crouch to stand, but you get the hang of it and it's a good practice in charging uh, correctly. So, because if you go to down, you lose your charge. So you need to go to down back and make sure to stay from like stay in down uh, down back to the, uh, to back anyway. So it's a good practice in that, and uh, that's the combo we do. And why is this uh, combo so good? It is because it gives some different properties. Uh, not different. It unlocks some properties with the light kick shoulder we don't usually get, and that is as you can see in the top left corner uh, there the shoulder becomes plus on hit. Usually shoulder is minus five, um, minus four, minus three on hits at times, minus five on block. Even if, um, and even if they block the light kick shoulder with this, uh, with this combo, if we just quickly turn this off, it's safe with a minus two. So that makes this a good safe string to use, especially on hit because it's not very often you can get a light kick shoulder to be plus, so you can catch a lot of people off guard by this. So that's what makes it this really good. And um, the places you can get this is, as you can see, if you get the counter hit on the crouch medium punch, you can also get this if you get the um, if you get the counter hit. Oh, oh, stone guard, my bad. If you get the counter hit, there we go. On the uh, stand like kick, I didn't combo that, but it does combo. If I, there we go. And you see plus three again. So this makes it really interesting because as you can see, this, uh, this makes it plus on hit and you are in that phase. So it gives us some different situations where we can use it in. So we can, we can throw him right afterwards for a decent chunk of damage. We can press buttons because we are plus. So if they decide to do something, we can look for maybe a counter hit jab 
into counter hit crouch hard punch. We can even go even go for another stand light kick. So like, but yeah. So that's that. You get another plus situation afterwards where you can get some more damage out of it, which makes this very interesting. You can also go for a shimmy. You can do these options that we talked about in the stand medium punch pressure video. So. That's what makes it, it, it can bait people into pressing buttons at a time where they usually yeah, used to be able to press buttons, but they can't at that moment. So that's why this media is good. And this is part of why I started using it. Another part of it, and the more important part, and we're gonna get into that here in a second, is you can bait slower reversals with it. So it's a very safe option to use against certain characters. And we're gonna get into that right here, right now. All right, we are back, and here we have it, as you can see. And now we get into the reason why I started to use this uh, stand light kick medium more. You, because oh, it's always good to vary up what kind of media you do, because it uh, it can shake your opponent off. Maybe he knows about one media, but he doesn't know about another media. So if you shake it up, you can maybe find a media he doesn't know about. You can catch him off guard, and you can hit him with at least one. That's some free damage, then. Uh, if he knows the stand medium punch midi, he knows uh, the setups for that, how to get that stand medium punch midi, the dashes and the uh, headbutts you can do to get it. Uh, he, he's probably gonna block, but he might not know the stand light kick, so you can get some free damage behind that. Anyway, that's of course one of the good reasons, but the really big reason, and it also stops you from being out, autopilot, you stop doing just one midi over and over and again. You can you vary up your gameplay, which means you're thinking more about what you're doing in the game. Anyway, sorry. The bigger reason, uh, and the bigger reason I started to use this actually, is because on a character like this, Ed, uh, with a slower reversal, we can do stuff like this. If we try to do, if we try to do the stand medium punch media, you can see we get hit by the reversal. So we have to think, we have to guess if he's gonna wake up with the reversal or not, or we can just avoid the whole thinking part and go straight to baiting it. Oh. Go straight to baiting it. With stand, uh, with stand light kick. As you can see, the stand light kick is so fast that uh, if he wakes up with a EX reversal, he's gonna get hit by the. Uh, he's, he's, he aren't gonna get hit by the EX reversal. And just to show you guys that there's no tomfoolery involved in. Uh... Actually, no. It's cool. You guys are gonna believe me. You can go in and test it yourself in training mode. Actually, I re recommend you go in training mode and try this out. And yeah, this is a really good thing and it works on some characters in the game. I'm gonna show the characters right now on screen. It works on. And the top of my head, uh, it works on uh, Falcus EX Reversal, Urien's EX Reversal, and SU VX EX Reversal. And I think that is all of them. You can bait out with this. You can, of course, also do some like more tricky baits where you do your uh, button a bit earlier on the wake up and because they think you're still in the middle of doing your button uh, they uh, they do the EX reversal to catch it but if you have a fast button like the stand light kick or a faster button than stand medium punch you might end up blocking that that's also something you can do it's a bit less uh, technical and more abusing your opponent's habits but it's it's a thing you can do. That's just a small free advice. And that's just, um, and yeah, this, this is uh, why this MIDI is good. Plain and simple. Because you have this really nice, uh, faster MIDI so you can bait out reversals from slower reversal characters. Um, which helps a lot in, I guess, lower ranks. Because I guess a character like Ed probably is spamming that on his wake up if he gets the chance to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's move back to Ryu now, and then I'm gonna show you guys one last neat thing about this. Okay, we are back with the last part of our video now, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you one neat thing with this uh, with this uh, MIDI, and it's basically if they block and they do throw. Like let's say you've been doing stand like kick, walk forward, throwing him a bit, and he's start, you're starting to uh, condition him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. He's trying to condition him to uh, to do a throw. Now, you aren't actually in range after the stand light kick hits, so there's actually no reason for opponents to throw unless you do a walk forward. But if they for some reason start to check, 
you can do this small thing on them. Oh. I once said it was easy to do. <laughs> First video in a while, boys. Wow. You know how you practice things and it just works in first attempt? There you go. You just need to start complaining about it. You get a headbutt loop. You get a headbutt loop if you bait that throw. Ultimate way of saying to them, bro, don't take. <laughs> and if you don't know how to do a headbutt loop, you can check out an earlier video showing how to do the headbutt loop. But yeah, you get a headbutt loop. And as far as I've tested, People can correct me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. This actually works on all characters. This is a universal headbutt loop. I haven't tested all characters. Disclaimer. I went in and tested Sangif, I went in and tested Blanca, and I went in and tested Ryu. That covers a lot of character groups in this game. Those, uh, those three characters. And if you don't know the character groups, again, check out the headbutt loop video. And yeah, that's the last small neat things I wanted to show you guys. And I think this is this is it for the first one. Hope you guys enjoyed this start, small, introductory video back to learning Urian. Getting back into gear now. Getting back into doing these videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will say here at the end, if you're tuning in now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you are, uh, if you are a viewer that also watched watch the first videos, thank you for staying around. If you're new, I would really appreciate the uh, subscription. Show me it's worth for me to make these videos. If you, and of course, if you're a YouTube, YouTube guy and only really do YouTube, I would say try checking out my Twitch. Try checking out my Twitter, especially my Twitch, because I stream four to five times a week. So if you want more content with me, if you want more consistent content, or if you will have questions, that is the best way, that is the best way to reach me is through my Twitch. That is my main thing. I am a Twitch streamer that do YouTube videos. I'm not a YouTuber that do Twitch streaming. Streaming. So yeah, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, give it a like if you liked it. Uh, please don't, uh, whatever. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. One of these videos each week for this month. For, uh, yeah, for a month, four weeks of these videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya!